important to understand that when someone is stalling or reluctant to make a decision, many times they aren't sure what is lacking that could help them make a decision. That's your role as a sales professional, to fill in the blanks and help her decide. As we discuss indecision or resistance to make a decision, please remember that it seems to be a natural tendency for a prospective buyer to begin any interaction with a salesperson absolutely convinced that they will not buy anything. Remember the story about the mall, the dress, the shoes? I bet you can relate. So remember, you cannot take it personally when someone stalls a decision. Learn to manage indecision and resistance. And regardless of whether the person buys or not, they will have had a positive sales experience with you. Now, a bit more about indecision. Indecision or stalling is typically a result of one of two factors. Either your prospect is confused about some of the information shared, or she doesn't feel a sense of urgency to make a decision now. We'll provide a simple roadmap to follow when you're met with reluctance or stalling, but let's discuss these causes first. If your prospect is confused, you probably haven't provided the information in a straightforward and clear manner. Perhaps you weren't clear about the out-of-pocket costs of treating cancer, or went off on a story or tangent while explaining how the benefit is paid. The bottom line is this. If there is confusion, we'll need to look at our delivery of information as the problem to correct. Learning to use the structured format of the QSA sales conversation to provide policy information will minimize prospect confusion. If your prospect doesn't feel a sense of urgency about deciding one way or another, especially with the product you're marketing, then you haven't effectively raised awareness and developed the need. In today's world, it would not be an overstatement to say that information about cancer is everywhere, and the reports regarding the financial pressures of treating cancer are front page news. For many Americans, the question is not if, it is when. A major factor in creating a sense of urgency is our ability to engage our prospect in dialogue about her experience with cancer diagnosis and the impact on family, friends, and neighbors. If our prospect does not feel a sense of urgency about her decision to protect against the high cost of treating cancer while she health qualifies, then we need to look at our own reluctance to dialogue about someone's experience with cancer. You may be hesitant to confront the realities of the disease with someone. We've said it continually. We are passionate about our story. We believe everyone should have the financial protection in the case it is needed. Do you? Because of that, you want to guide the prospect